Welcome back to my channel. Very sad news about British businessman Thomas Kingston came to the conclusion that he died from a gunshot wound to the head. Kingston was married to a member of the royal family named Lady Gabriella. The Telegraph reports that on Sunday, Kingston committed suicide at the Cotswolds' home he shared with his parents. His age was 45. In an article published on X, the old Twitter, Sky News reporter Dan Whitehead said that the senior coroner for Gloucestershire had said that Kingston was found in a locked-out building with a catastrophic head injury. A gun was found at the scene. According to Whitehead, the inquest will now take place at a later date. The announcement about the investigation into Kingston's death was made public on the website of the Gloucestershire Coroner's Court at 2 o'clock p.m. local time on March 1. According to the BBC's reporting, the court has appointed Katie Skerritt, the senior coroner for Gloucestershire, to preside over the inquest's commencement. In a statement issued on Tuesday, the unexpected passing that took place on February 25 was revealed. His age was 45. No additional persons are involved, and the death is not being treated as suspicious. Members of the Kingston family, Lady Gabriella, Martin and Jill, Joanna Connolly, and Emma Murray issued the following statement on February 27. It is with the deepest sorrow that we announce the death of Thomas Kingston, our beloved husband, son, and brother. Tom was an extraordinary man who brightened the lives of everyone he met. The news of his death has shocked our entire family. We ask that you be respectful of our privacy while we mourn his loss. King Charles and Queen Camilla conveyed their heartful thoughts to Lady Gabriella, 42 years old, after hearing the news of her husband's death. According to a representative for Buckingham Palace, the King and Queen have been informed of Thomas's passing. They joined Prince and Princess Michael of Kent and all others who knew him in grieving the loss of a beloved family member. The entire Kingston family, and Gabriella in particular, are in the hearts and prayers of their majesties. Prince Michael of Kent is Queen Elizabeth's first cousin. His only child, Princess Gabriella, is a princess, Prince Michael's only daughter. She tied the knot in May 2019 with Kingston, a former Iraqi hostage negotiator and director of Devonport Capital. Just one year prior to this, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle also exchanged wedding bows at Street George Chapel in Windsor Castle. Attendees at the wedding included not only the royal couple but also Harry, who made an unannounced visit shortly after the birth of his son Archie. A few hours prior to the public revelation of Kingston's demise, the 76-year-old Queen Camilla attended the Thanksgiving service at Street George's Chapel with Lady Gabriella's parents, Prince and Princess Michael of Kent, and other members of the royal family. King Constantine of Greece, who died at the year's conclusion, was honored at the service. Attending the funeral of the late King of Greece, also a godfather to Lady Gabriella, was Prince William, who was one of Constantine's godchildren. The funeral was attended by Lady Gabriella, who was Prince William's representative. There is no working member of the royal family named Lady Gabriella, even though she is the 56th in line to the throne. After being married, she and her husband were regulars at family events, despite her career as a freelance journalist. They were both present at the monarch's funeral a few months later and at Prince Philip's memorial service in March 2022 at Westminster Abbey. Also that year, they attended the Platinum Jubilee Ceremony for Queen Elizabeth. The happy pair went to the Royal Ascot in 2017 summer with King Charles and Queen Camilla, who watched from the royal box. Along with that, they stopped into London's Victoria and Albert Museum to check out the Channel exhibit. They were joined by Queen Camilla at a Celebration of Shakespeare event that was held on February 14. Just over two weeks remained till his death. 